Legal cases for Donald Trump today. He's here in New York this morning for his hush money trial while the Supreme Court hears his immunity case in Washington. And now an Arizona grand jury has indicted more than a dozen people accused of trying to overturn Trump's election loss in that state during the 2020 presidential election. Our coverage begins with CBS News' Eliza Westbrook live from Manhattan. Come look forward with more on what to expect today, Eliza. That's right. Well, Chris and Mary, it's another busy legal day for Donald Trump. Uh, we know here in Lower Manhattan, the former publisher of the National Enquirer will testify uh, yet again today in Trump's criminal trial. Uh, this after he testified earlier this week that he promised Trump that he would help suppress negative stories during his run for presidency in 2016. Prosecutors say this was a way to illegally influence the election. Pecker also went into more detail about what's called the catch and kill method, uh, describing how he paid a Trump Tower doorman $30,000 for a story he was shopping around, claiming that Trump fathered an illegitimate child with a maid. Pecker says they looked into it and found it to be untrue, but told prosecutors he still paid anyway because it would have been embarrassing for the campaign. Now, as we await additional testimony from Pecker this morning in the nation's capital, the Supreme Court will hear arguments on whether the former president can be prosecuted over attempts to overturn the 2020 election. Special counsel Jack Smith charged Trump with a number of crimes related to that election. Trump denies the crimes and says he shouldn't be prosecuted. Well, experts say the Supreme Court is moving faster than usual in taking up the case, but not as quickly as special counsel Smith would have wanted before the November election. Lower courts have found that Trump cannot claim immunity for his actions, that prosecutors say illegally sought to interfere with the election results. Uh, so we'll see today if the Supreme Court justices will agree with the lower courts and if a trial will be held in time before the November election. Of course, we'll keep you posted on how both cases play out in court this morning. And that is the latest at this time from Lower Manhattan. Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thanks.